Today we present to you a short film on historic medieval economics. Brought to you by Adam Smith's Invisible Hand for viewers just like yourself. Here we see two medieval people of questionable character, Kelder and Guy. Both enjoy orc slang, forging swords, and long relaxing walks on the beach. but especially orc sling. Kelder and Guy need to decide if they will be better off if they specialize in either orc sling or sword making. They were both timed at how long it would take them to slay 25 orcs individually. During a fearsome orc battle, much too graphic for this program, both Kelder and Guy took two hours to kill 25 orcs. With both feeling pretty good about themselves, they set out to find out who was better at forging swords. Both of our medieval warriors were timed as they set out to forge swords for 20 hours. Kelder forged five swords in 20 hours of work, while Guy forged four swords in 20 hours of work. How did they compare? Kelder and Guy were equals at orc slang, with each killing 25 orcs in two hours, but Kelder was much better at sword making. This gives Kelder an absolute advantage in sword making. Having an absolute advantage means having the ability to produce a good using fewer inputs than another producer. Kelder can produce one sword in four hours, which is much faster than a guy can produce a sword, which takes him five hours. But wait, we cannot forget that guy is just as good as Kelder at orc sling. This brings us to comparative advantage. Comparative advantage is the ability to produce a good at a lower opportunity cost than another producer. This tells us that Guy has a definite comparative advantage over Kelder. For every 250 orcs slain, Kelder must give up the chance to produce five swords. Guy would only have to give up the chance to produce four swords to, to slay 250 orcs. This is also called opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is defined as whatever must be given up to obtain something else. So after our contest, we see that Keldor has an absolute advantage at forging swords and Guy has a comparative advantage at killing orcs because he is better at killing orcs than forging swords. Would they benefit from specialization? Remember that Keldor killed 25 orcs in 2 hours and forged 5 swords in 20 hours. Guy killed 25 orcs in 2 hours and forge four swords in 20 hours. Given 20 hours, Kelder and Guy could produce nine swords or kill 500 orcs, or any combination of both below the production possibility frontier. If Kelder only makes swords and Guy were to only kill orcs, then they can achieve a higher level of production by taking advantage of the benefits of trade, putting them outside the production possibility frontier. Now our friends have more time to enjoy to themselves thanks to their newfound efficiency.